everyone, welcome back. This is Laura, and today I have a first reaction unboxing of some Timu items that I purchased. Um, some of it is crafty, and some of it is non-crafty. They are things that I bought for specifically for Christmas gifts um, for my niece and my sister. All three of us really love Disney. They're actually at Disneyland right now, <laughs> so I'm a little jealous. Um, but I found them just on the page. I wasn't looking for anything in uh, particular. So the things that I got, I also wanted for myself. So I figured I'll just get them. Great if we like them, if not, I'll just return them. But if you know, Timu is not super reliable on their quality. And that's why I'm doing this reaction video. Um, last year, my mom bought a coat because I needed a new coat. She bought it off of Timu. It was very pretty, but it was terrible quality. It was like just thick felt. That's all it was. <laughs> so I told her, no, that's going to pill and it's going to look terrible after the first time that I used it. So they gave her credit for that. Okay. So this is one of the first things and all three of these are the same. Oh, oh, well, that's nice. They kind of stuck things in between. Hang on. And I'm here on my son's bed because I wanted more space because um, I knew some of these were bigger than like the crafting space that I had. So I believe all three of these are the same. They had different colors. This one is, let's see, scarf. I don't know if it had the color. I'll put the color that I chose and I'll put the price. Um, I want to say these were around like six or seven dollars. Let's see. Let me smell it first because you know some teamy things can smell. Okay, this definitely on one side had like that. I don't know. It's not bad, but it's like almost like a glue smell. So I'm going to let these air out and we'll see how they come out if it smells better but look at this isn't that cute okay so first of all it's a scarf it's one of those wide scarves with the fringe you can see here there's fringe and then don't mind my nails I got them done yesterday and I kept messing with them and it's regular nail polish so they don't set right away um okay I like this however with the print I feel like they should have put the print up and down let me see, because I don't know, because, okay, so this part of the scarf is hanging down, right? It's fine, but this side of the scarf, if it's hanging down, it's upside down. So I guess you have to know you need to put this part underneath or tuck this part under. I'm not sure. Or let's see. So let's say it's like that. This part's going to show down. Well, I don't know. Maybe. No, it's going to be the same. So if you tuck it like this, this part's still going to be upside down. So yeah, I guess this has to go in the back. Or if you pull it around and do that like double, how you do like that, and then you loop it through. I guess no one's really going to tell, but it's like, what's the point of having a Mickey print? Yeah, in the back it'll show fine because it's sideways, but still, I think it should have been up and down. Um, or at least them be mindful that it has to, it's gonna go in two different directions. So okay, um, if I can get the smell out, I'll for sure save that for gifts. Um, and I'll keep the other one. These, I also believe I got all the same. And I'm pretty sure I got the same size because the three of us have fairly small feet. I wear a size five or a five and a half. Let's see, the color on here says white. I know that these did come in different colors. I think they're all the same size. Oh, they're in Chinese sizes, hang on. 38, 39, 38, 39. 30th. Okay, so let me try a pair on. Um, 
I'm pretty sure my niece also wears like a five and a half or a six. I think my sister wears a six, but they're just slippers. Okay, let's look at this first. It's the gingerbread Mickey Mouse, love him. And they're, they're not terrible quality. They're not great. They're not like isotoners or that deer foam, but they are pretty sturdy. Yeah, they're cute. Okay, let me try them on. I'm not gonna show you my feet though. I mean, they're fine, but I think that's weird. Okay, so these for sure are on the size six side because there's about an inch behind my heel when I put these in, but I mean, they're fine. If they're for around the house or if I need to run out to my car really quickly, these are cute. I don't know if they came in a darker color, like this part, maybe like a brown or a black, because that might be better to keep them from looking dingy right away. But yeah, these are cute for sure. Okay, let me, I didn't do the sniff test. Okay, these smell fine. I mean, if anything, it's a tiny, tiny hint of whatever the sole is, but I thought, I think it's fine. So yeah, I think these are good. That's a good buy. Okay, so here's the crafty stuff I got. Some of these I had been eyeballing and waiting on to come, to see if I can find something similar for a while. Okay, let's start here. So I love bow dies, I'm sure you do too, but assembling them is a pain in the butt. So I found these, these are so cute. I really wanna try these out. So if I do a, and sorry if there's glare. If I do an example, I'll show it. Um, but these are a very nice size. Let me grab my ruler, hang on. Okay, so this small one is a little more than two inches across and Sorry, this is magnetic, it keeps sticking. Um, just under two inches tall. This one's about two and a half tall and two and a half wide, maybe a little less. This one might be a little less too. So yeah, just over two and a quarter wide and over, oh wait, hold on. Yeah, just about two and three quarter tall. So yeah, these are super cute. Um, there's no layering pieces, but we'll see how these cut out. Um, if you're like me, you never know what's the negative spot when they don't show you fully how it works. Okay, this I've seen as well. It's, you know, let me move this. Because with the clear, it's hard to see because of the white. Um, so this is a bow shaker die you get the big and the small. The small is two and a half by um, almost three, maybe three. And then this one is about three and three quarter by three. So yeah, I thought this is super cute. And you, you don't even have to make it into a shaker. It can just be layering pieces because that's your back and that's your um, outline piece to um, for your foam and your topper if you're making a shaker. So yeah, I'm excited to use that. That can go for anything. Um, okay, I got two pairs of these. These are so cute. And Joanne also had so Joanne had some fabric that had these Christmas cakes on them. And of course they were sold out by the time I tried to order it. So I don't know if I'm gonna order online, but who doesn't love these little Debbie's Christmas cakes? I love them. We're on our second box right now here at home. And I got two pairs because I didn't want to run out um, or maybe keep one for Happy Meal or gifting. This has been in my cart for a while. So this is that message in a bottle die. I believe it's a KS Craft die. Um, it's super adorable. So this is almost four, so three, a little over three and three quarter 
by one and under three quarters. So like one and five eighths. So it's a layering one also. So for like Valentine's, um, I've seen some people make this with a little tiny message that goes in here. You've got your cork and then just the different um, layering pieces that go with that too. I think this actually goes in the middle. So yeah, super cute. Um, this one, so I have some Maggie Holmes carousel stuff on the way and I knew I'd been wanting carousel for a while. Um, so I bought this. A, like horse carousel die. This is really cute. Um, I want to say I've seen at least one other person use it. I'm not sure. But again, it's one of those things I've been eyeing for a long time. So it's three and a half tall by a little over two and a quarter wide. And I think these are extra pieces here. So yeah, they're not necessarily layering pieces, but they're still cute. That will go perfect with carousel. And then this, I wasn't 100% sure how big it was, but I figured even if it's too big, I could cut down whatever it is I'm using. But this is a tassel die. Um, in the picture, when you scroll through to see like the other pictures for the description, it had two different ones. And I hate that because you don't know exactly which one you're getting. One of them had like tiny squares come out of here um I don't know what the purpose of that was if it was like a release square or if it was actually like a cutout square but this looks like um the fringe would actually be kind of thin so we'll see I wanted it to use on like faux leather I don't know if it'll be great for that but I can definitely try um finish with the dies here this one I have something similar, but it's not a pocket. This one's a pocket. Um, it's a mailbox. Like how adorable is that? So this folds over. You've got your um, little hinge for a flap. This goes up too. And then you have like the extra little pieces there too. And then this, I believe this cuts out too. So you've got your layering piece here, but you can also, um, I don't know if it's a tag or you can use that as like the mail slot like a fake mail slot but still the pocket would serve as that as well but this is so cute so let me see this one is four and a quarter by two and a quarter so yeah nice size great for gift cards which it's always gift card season no matter what the occasion and then I found this cute little award ribbon. I'd been eyeing it for a bit too. I'm not super into award ribbons, but they are great for layering as well. Even like the background part, um, instead of having to make a rosette, um, or if you don't have a scallop punch, even if you do have a scallop punch, this is kind of like a reverse scallop because the, the scallop would usually be protruding, but this is going in uh, into the circle. So yeah, I thought that was super cute. So this, so the finished piece is gonna be smaller because these are just the attachments. So with the attachments, it's gonna be a little over three and a half, so like three and five eighths. And then wide is like two and an eighth. So it's a nice size for sure. And then the last item, I love Stitch. He's my favorite Disney guy and we wear Crocs a lot in this house. Um, so I cut some of these cutie little faux gibbet charms. Okay, this one he's green, so I'm assuming he's the Grinch. That's kind of cute. I didn't even notice that when I bought these. So let me just show you really quickly. I love him. I have a Christmas shirt with him. Oh, look with the sunglasses. They're the Christmas tree sunglasses. That's adorable. Oh, he's dressed up as Olaf. That's funny. And there we have Angel. Oh, he's dressed up as Oogie Boogie from um, Nightmare Before Christmas. My niece would love that. 
Here he's coming out of the Christmas tree. I hope I'm in frame. Um, he's opening up a present. He's in the stocking here. That's super cute. I think he's wearing mittens as well. Little reindeer ears. Oh, and he's got his mouth covered like he's gasping or something. He's a little elf. That's adorable. <laughs> he's sticking his tongue out. So for sure, me and my son are going to share these. Here he's giving Scrump a big hug and he's wearing a scarf. This one, he's dressed up as Santa, giving out gifts. And another with the reindeer ears, but he's got like an ugly sweater. I love these. I'm gonna have so much fun putting these on my Crocs. And I have actually like light green Crocs. So they would be good for like Christmas vibes too. So yes, this is my haul. Um, I, if I can, like I said, if I can get the smell out of these, for sure I will give them as gifts. Um, again, the direction of the pattern um, may not be what you would want, so you have that information if you're going to buy that. These, for sure, I would say rent a size may be slightly big, but because um, I'm not a full like size six or even a size five and a half, um, I'm like between like a five and a five and a half, depending on the shoe. So, yeah, I would say they rent a size may be slightly bigger, but for slippers, they're great. All right, so I wanted to show you some examples of um, the dies that I chose. So let's start off with this mailbox one. This is super cute. I really like this a lot. It's nice and sturdy as well. Um, this one though, you need to be mindful that the stitching is only gonna show up nicely on one side um, when you fold it over because the stitching is all in, you know, one piece. So you'll see some of it here, but it's not the nice stitching but you see it here. This is the nice stitching here. You can fold it over the other way. However, when I did do that, there was like a sliver that it didn't reach all the way to. So it just fit better this way. Um, and it came with this square. Also has some stitching as well as the layering piece for the tag part. Has some stitching as well. I really like that. And then it came with this little extra star. I didn't punch that out because it's a star. <laughs> So I love that, that one's really cute, can go for a lot of different occasions. Um, so next is this bow die set. I didn't make it into a shaker, but it you know definitely could work that way. Um, so you've got your large and your small. Let me put these this way. Um, these cut out really well. Now I think it was the paper that I used for the glitter. Some of it I had to kind of pull it apart. Um, but these are luckily not so thin that they would fall apart when you did that. Um, the paper I use is Glitter Metallics Matte Stack from DCWV. I got that at Joanne, so I think it's a common one that they sell. Um, so yeah, I think that one was either just too thick or maybe because it had that, like, let me show you. This kind of backing, um, it's fairly sturdy, so just to keep that in mind, but I love how these came out. I used the paper pad that I showed also from DCWV down the chimney. Um, I really wanted to start using my new stuff, so I thought these came out so cute. They're gonna be great for so many different projects. You can even like um, layer them up a little bit. You don't even need to put the outline, but you can layer them like that. You can make two of the same size and attach them in the middle and fluff them up. They they're really nice. I love these a lot. So if you can find those, get them. And I was curious to see how it would cut through foam. This is a thinner foam. I think it's only like one millimeter or one and a half millimeters. I, the first time I cut it, I ran it through my machine. I went over it back and forth, I think two or three times and it kind of just shredded it up. So, um, lesson learned. I won't do that with this, but with one pass, it came out really great. So I'm really happy about that. And even this on its own can be a cute little accent or layering piece. Okay, next on those bows, this set is so cute. All right, so these are pretty interesting. So they don't cut out like pieces out, but it does cut through some of the loops. Um, the middle part here is a little delicate. So I would just be mindful of that. 
but um, all of them have like just the slivered pieces for the um, the loops of the bows. And these again, you can layer them up, attach them in the middle and fluff them up. Super cute, I love how these came out. I'm going to love using these over and over again. And the last one is this carousel. This one came out super cute. So the first time I did it with some glitter, um, this one actually, I mean, it came out great. The only thing you can't really see is the embossed pieces here. You could see it on the back. Um, it doesn't cut through all the way. Um, and then this part here, the scalp part here, for some reason, I don't understand why it opens. Um, Cause it's not like you'd put anything through there, but you can't really see it on glitter. But on some regular cardstock, or this isn't even, this is just like scrapbook paper, um, it comes out really nicely. You can see the really good indentations. And you know what, this actually does cut through the top part of it. And then again, the bottom part cuts through. But it's super cute, and then it comes with the these extra little pieces, so a heart and then two stars. So you get some cute little other accents to go with it. And then also a tiny little bonus. So this star here, and then these little stars at the bottom also come out as negative. So you get some teeny tiny, like three millimeter stars. They're so cute. So, um, you know, just something extra to use if you want. If not, it just goes with your scraps. So yeah, I just thought I'd share this with you all because I was super happy with these purchases. Okay, everyone, um, you let me know what you thought. Um, and if there was anything in particular you have questions about or need links for, I'm happy to provide them. If anything, I hope you're having a crafty day. Take care. Bye-bye.